2022 Edmonton Elks draft preview. When the 2021 C Edmonton Elks season came to a conclusion, there were a lot of questions about the concern of the team and the short long-term success of it, especially after a three and 11 season, which everybody, they were stock shocked at how bad the Elks were. They, some people had them doing really well. It was a reality that change would have to be made to make the team competitive going forward in 2022. Edmonton should look at the 2022 draft with a lot of optimism about retooling its roster. They should also take approach of a combination of drafting uh, talent for caliber players who can start right away or in the near future. Edmonton, he's got Trey Ford. We know all about Trey Ford and his future dual threat quarterback comes from the track and field background. Although he is looking south of the border at the moment for the NFL draft status, but there's a slim tra- chance he gets picked in the NFL draft. Though there's a possibility that he could wind up uh, getting a dr- uh, an invite from a team. This is where Edmonton should, should jump on the opportunity and select Ford so that he's the number one overall guy. He has raw talent already, and he could transition to the program in the near future. The Elks know to have one of the weakest, biggest weakness was the play at quarterback. Uh, in which Trevor Harris was either injured or inconsistent, along with Taylor Cornelius' inconsistencies at QB. Trevor Harris was shipped to Montreal, and Edmonton acquired Nick Arbuckle. And late, although Nick Arbuckle and Taylor Cornelius could possibly be Trey Ford, factor is worth drafting. All Edmonton should do is look at growth thus far. Remember, you've got um, JT Barrett on the roster, but that could all be a smokescreen for bringing in Ford. I don't think they'll go with Ford at number one. I think I would go what he's saying, beef up your offensive line, even though Chris Jones is a defensive dude. If they don't take Ford with number overall pick, he's off the board. Uh, Elks need to retool their offensive line, which also inconsistent. Uh, with the retirement of Edmonton fan favorite and Matt O'Donnell, a player like Noah Zier fits avoid Matt O'Donnell. The Elks could obtain him possibly in the second round, providing he's available. Defense, uh, other possibilities, Redeem Brown, University of Alberta, Zach Fry, University of Western Ontario. On defense, which is where I think they're going to go. And this 2022 CFO is going the way Edmonton would like from rounds one through three. The Elks could focus on the other side of the ball. The Elks already have some good pieces in place at wide receiver slot back with Kenny Lawler, Mike Jones, Tavon Smith, up and coming Shea Ross, just to name a few. At running back, they have one of the best in the game. James Wilder Jr. if he gets help on his offensive line. So I think the Elks uh, could build their core draft around defense. Someone who could keep in mind is available is Joshua Archibald, defensive lineman, McGill University, who could be a hidden gem in the draft. May 20, May 3rd, 2022, 8 p.m. Eastern, the Edmonton Elks rebuilding begins now. I have a feeling the Edmonton Elks are going to go defense. They'll go linebacker with the first pick in the draft. I don't think they'll take a quarterback at least this year. Chris Jones is going to, it seems like he's got his good things going on in the offensive side. Nick Arbuckle is still there. He was like a starter last year. I don't know why, like, you know, you have him, JT Barrett, where we know what American quarterbacks do in the CFL, which is pretty much nothing. All hype, but no game. You have Taylor Cornelius, who's back for another season. He didn't look too bad towards the end of the season. It will be all. It's going to be fun to watch to see what Edmonton do, does. But I will be shocked. There was rumors that they might trade the pick or move the pick or whatever. They're going defense. Let's not kid ourselves. But we'll find out on May third what the Edmonton Elks do in the draft.